Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Folio 9480M laptop. And the other laptop is also known as is an HP Elite Book 9480M. So pretty much they're both the same. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add more RAM to your laptop. They essentially come with a 4 gig if you wanna go up to 8 gig. You can do it with no problem. If you want to go up to 16 gig, these laptops do support up to 16 gig with no issue. You can do that too. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can do that. It's really easy. You can do this at home with no problem. And I'll leave the link for the materials and the RAM compatible with this one in the video description in case you need to buy yours. Also remember when you do this upgrade, you do not need to worry about uh, doing any configuration or losing files or anything to your file system is not going to be changed they're all going to be the same all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down and down here you want to first remove the battery by removing this pulling this trigger to one side all the way to this side and now you want to slide the battery towards yourself a little bit and then you just want to lift it up and there is your battery Next, you need to remove the service cover on the top here. So in order to get to that one, let's go ahead and remove this one first. So we're gonna get ourselves our screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. Alright, and we're gonna, the rest of the screws we're gonna remove, we're just gonna lose them up because they have a little spring and they have a little seal lock on them so they will not come loose entirely. So we're gonna remove this one, loosen up the one beside it. No, actually this one no, keep this one locked down. So you're gonna loosen up this one, and loosen up this one over here, loosen up the one right on the cover and the one on this side remember this screws will not come out entirely so once you got this one's loose up now we're going to go ahead and remove this cover right over here loose up that screw and loose up the screw right on here you want to slide this backward bring it up and the only reason you need to do this one because there's one more screw that you need to remove on this side Go ahead and remove it, loosen up this screw right there. Once you finish with this one, now you just want to lift it up from front end, bring it up towards back, it's just like opening a pamphlet, and there you have the bottom cover. All right, down here you're going to see the RAM right here. This laptop does give you a two RAM dim on the board. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the RAM away from each other, just like that, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same direction out. You don't want to pull it towards upward, otherwise you're going to crack the dim or the RAM. Slide out, backward, in 45 degrees. These are a DDR4, three, uh, DDR3 RAM, but make sure yours is, should be a DDR3L, which is, stands for low voltage. And once you get the new RAM in, this is a 4 gig, you can put another 4 gig here, or put another 8 gig and 4 gig. You can mix match, there's no issue in there. So once you get the RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim right over here. So if you try to put it that way around, it will simply not go through because the dim, the notch, it will not match. So grab it in 45 degree, bring it all the way inside the jack, and then simply push it towards the board, and you should hear these two triggers clicking, just like that. So let's say, let me get another RAM right over here. So I have another one here, this is an 8 gig, so we can bring it, make sure the notch matches, bring it in this position, all the way in, and towards the board. And that's how you will um, upgrade the RAM. Now, there is another note. Once you put the new RAM in here, and you add the old RAM right there, and you power on, and you don't get anything in on the screen after 5 to 10 seconds, you have to wait 5 to 10 seconds, then you want to power off, and remove both of the RAM, put the new RAM on the on this side nearest to the Wi-Fi, and then power on. Once you get the boot logo or anything, power off and then add the old RAM beside it, and then power on, wait five to 10 seconds, and the motherboard is just gonna do an initial 
in memory check. All right, let's say that you got the new RAM in there. All you need to, but this is for demonstration. I'm not actually gonna leave it in there. So you need to remove the RAM, you need to put the cover in. You wanna put the back end of the cover down just like this in this position, bring it up because those hinges, they just kind of clip in. So bring it down, like closing a book and bring it all the way in evenly and start tightening up the screws. Put the screw in there. The screw over here, the screw right there, there, and there. And the next thing is to grab this one, bring it over, put it in an offset position, then you want to slide it inward. You can't just put it on top, you have to slide it in, and then put the screw for it. And the last thing would be to just grab the uh, batch on the bottom, and you want to slide down the battery with an offset position towards the back and it should do a click and lock it down i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out through your own ram upgrade for your hp folio 94 adm if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a the video comment as I always try to answer them as soon as i can don't forget to click that like and subscribe if you like the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video